Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys six things you guys should bring to your hemodialysis treatment. I remember the first day I went to my hemodialysis treatment outside of being in the hospital. I just went and I was so clueless of what to bring or really what to expect because I was so used to having it done at the hospital since I did start my treatment when I was hospitalized. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys six things you guys should definitely bring to hemodialysis. Tip number one, guys, is definitely wear comfortable clothes. I really recommend that you have, like, say, pajamas, sweatpants, loose clothes on because your body is going to be already feeling very drained and very tired for doing dialysis. So you don't want to be in tight clothes and make yourself feel even more uncomfortable. So I really recommend that if you're coming from work maybe or have to go somewhere after dialysis, that you pack a bag with your shoes, your clothes that you plan to put on after dialysis or before if you have to change or anything because you definitely don't want to start your treatment in uncomfortable clothes. Tip number two is that you definitely bring a blanket and a pillow. This is very important. I remember when I first went, I didn't have a blanket or a pillow and thankfully, God is always good. And the clinic that I was doing dialysis at actually gave me a bag and it had a blanket in it. So I was so blessed that I didn't have to be freezing cold that day because when you start hemodialysis, you're going to be very cold because your blood is leaving your body, going through a machine, then coming back in. And the machine doesn't do the same job as your body. So, of course, the body and the machine temperature is not always going to be the same. So, it does get very cold. It gets very cold. So, I highly recommend to definitely take a blanket and definitely take a pillow so you can be comfortable. If you have a fistula, then it's recommended to put a pillow under your and not only that like you want to have something comfortable for your arm and say like you want to relax you can put one under you can put one on your back because you're gonna be there for three to four hours some people even five so you definitely want to be comfortable and have that pillow and that blanket keeping you nice and comfy and warm tip number three is always bring food and water that is so 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 important Take either a snack, an apple, a banana, or take yourself a full-blown meal if you have to. But definitely have some food on hand because you can get very nauseous or very dizzy or your blood pressure might drop and you might want to take some, like, you know, take a little snack or take a meal in. You don't want to cause your body to be in any more pain and discomfort than it already is. And also water. Like, guys, I know that some people are fluid restriction, but I highly recommend to always stay hydrated. And yes, the machine takes off a lot of water. That's why you always want to have some water on hand because sometimes it actually pulls off too much. And when it pulls off too much, you begin to cramp. So really, really always have something there just in case you have to get the fluid back in your system to, to stop the cramping. So water and food, very, very important for your treatment. Tip number four is bring yourself a pair of headphones. Guys, this is very important because it gets a little noisy in there with all the machines going off and it can get boring. You're sitting there for three to four hours. It gets boring, honestly. So I recommend that you bring headphones to listen to some music, to watch TV, because every chair, at least in my clinic, had a TV and you could just plug it in and watch whatever you want because they have cable and you could watch tv if not your phone you have youtube you have netflix hulu amazon whatever just bring those headphones in case i highly recommend tip number five i recommend that you guys bring yourself a book to read any work you guys might have to do definitely bring it if it, if it's possible bring your laptop bring your paperwork anything you can get done in those three hours i recommend that you cram it in so you can have the rest of the day free so cram in as much work if you're not too tired and you can do maybe a page here of your work or um read a little bit of this book because sometimes you can't sleep the full three hours even though like i know i tried to sleep that full time but sometimes my body was just wanting to be awake so definitely bring yourself something to keep yourself entertained a book crossword puzzles a game any work just anything and last but not least tip number six is to bring a positive mindset 
I know being in hemodialysis or being on dialysis can be draining for yourself, but I just want to say that you guys have to maintain a positive mindset, have to always say, you know, okay, this is just the season and it's going to get better and I'm going to move forward and soon I'm going to be off this machine. You have to have that mindset of, okay, this is just temporary, but don't worry, God is under control and I'm going to overcome this because there's nothing that you would not go through that you don't have the strength to go through it so i recommend to everyone to just stay positive and bring that attitude okay i got this and very positive even when it feels like a low and rainy day for you guys always remember that you are strong and that you can conquer everything so definitely have that positive attitude not just with hemodialysis but with everything in life that you do so guys those are the six tips i had for you guys don't forget to like this video if you guys learned from it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos and if you don't have that little notification bubble on already don't forget to turn it on thank you guys so much for watching this video have a blessed and beautiful day everyone